better lighting this time. I, <laughs> sorry about that last time. And scooching, there we go, centered. Hopefully this is ready to go. Um, all right, here we go. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. So, um, I have a uh, brother-in-law who originally is from Oklahoma, and um, I asked him about this, this man named Father Stanley Rother. And you may have known Father Stanley Rother. He's actually blessed Stanley Rother. And he said, oh, actually, absolutely. Um, in high school, even, like their, their church took a pilgrimage to his, his grave, I think it was his gravesite, or maybe it was something else, but they took a pilgrimage to the thing dedicated to blessed Stanley Rother. And I'm like, wow, you know about this guy, this like priest from, I don't, no offense, nowhere Oklahoma, who now is a blessed. Here's, a, here's part of his story. So again, growing up in relatively nowhere, Oklahoma, uh, goes to seminary, actually grew up on a farm, right? Goes to seminary, kind of gets dropped out of seminary because he doesn't get Latin. He just, you know, one of those language things that was a barrier, they said, you can't do it. So he leaves, goes back to farming, but this call was still there, right? So he reapplied, got accepted to seminary, and then got ordained as a priest. After a number of years, they needed priests to go down to Guatemala to serve the mission parishes down there. So Father Stanley, sure. I mean, <laughs> clearly not great at languages, but apparently was good at Spanish. I mean, this is like where it gets like super interesting to me at least. He goes down to Guatemala, and he's not just an average priest. Like an average priest is like me. Applied to seminary, went to seminary, took the classes, passed them all, they ordained me. I mean, all the formation stuff too, but I didn't have the struggle of, like that Father Stanley had, of like failure and getting kicked out uh, because he couldn't get this class of Latin. Um, having to go through that, all that s struggle and all that pain, all that trial, the crooked, right? The crooked lines uh, with which God writes his straight story or whatever the, the quote is, right? He had a crooked path to get him to become a missionary priest in Guatemala. But while he's there, in addition to serving the people like massively, I think he had over a thousand baptisms every year. He had sometimes more than five masses on a, any given Sunday. He also spent hours and hours and hours helping the indigenous people learn how to practice better farming techniques. Why? Well, because not only was he raised on a farm and had to work, but also when he got kicked out of seminary, he went back to farming and became a really, really good farmer. And he would not have had that gift to be able to give to the Guatemalan people that he served had he not been kicked out of seminary. And it's so remarkable that, you know, his story goes on that um, he kept uh, speaking the truth and he kept proclaiming Christ and he kept proclaiming the, the dignity and rights of the people. Ultimately, he was martyred. And that's one of the reasons why he is blessed Stanley Rother, is he's a martyr for the, for the, uh, for the, for our Lord, for the faith. Um, from Nowheresville, Oklahoma, to Heavensville, heaven. <laughs> it's amazing. Here's the point. Even in the midst of our broken lives, even in the midst of our crooked lines, God wastes nothing. Just, here's the line, those three words. God wastes nothing. Another way you can say it, with more words, nothing is wasted on God. Nothing that we hand over to him, nothing we surrender to God, nothing we entrust to God is ever wasted. None of it is discarded. It's all, it all gets used. And this is one of those pieces that, especially if you're going through some kind of trial, if you experience um, your own, you know, you made some bad decisions and here you are in a place where it's like, man, this is a rough place. Or maybe some people made bad decisions against you. Or maybe even just life, right? Accidentally, you happen to be in this circumstance you're in right now. All of those points of pain surrendered to God, like entrusted to God, given over to the Lord, will never be wasted. And this is, the, this is like one of the reasons why Christians can choose joy. This is one of the reasons why Catholics can choose joy even in the midst of like those moments where you're like, oh my goodness, Lord, what is happening? Why this? In those moments, we look to the cross and realize, okay, here is God who has, is everything and has everything but he strips himself of his glory and he strips himself of his power and he enters into our human weakness. He enters into the worst things human, ha human beings have to offer in the torture and the evil they did, but also he entered into the worst things human beings could experience in his own physical pain, his own emotional and spiritual darkness. Everything surrendered to God gets used. 
because God wastes nothing. So here's my encouragement. You and I do not know, we do not know how God will use our story for his glory. Whoa, did I just sound like a, like a televangelist preacher, like a TV preacher? You don't know how God's going to use your story for his glory. But that's actually a true thing. We have no idea. Why? Because our worldview is bigger than most people's worldview. Most people have a worldview that says this life and no more. There's this life and nothing more. The worst thing that could happen to you is suffering and death. But we recognize that our worldview is far bigger than that, that suffering and death are bad. They're not good in and of themselves. But there's also more to this life than just this life. That your story does not end with this life. But your story will continue for eternity. And even if you're in a dark part of your story, a difficult part of your story, a part of your story you do not understand, that part of your story, what you're going through right now, handed over to the Lord, entrusted to him, surrendered to God under Jesus Christ, can be used because God wastes nothing. He uses everything that's surrendered to him. And it's true. It does rhyme. That doesn't mean it's not true. God can use every part of your story for his glory. <laughs> Just take it, take it, receive it, write it down, never forget it. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike Schmitz. If you have a better rhyme, write it in the comments below. Otherwise, smash the like button, hit subscribe, pop up the alerts thing so you know when we have a new video every Wednesday-ish. Wednesday-ish, I don't know, Wednesdays. Peace. Okay. Love you. <laughs> what, am I, what am I talking to my mom? <laughs> Maybe I'm talking to my mom. Hey mom, if you're watching this, How's it going? All the rest of the family, I do love you. And if you're watching this and you are a video person that I'm not related to, um, I love you in the, in the Jesus way. Bye. <laughs>